drivers, start your engines. Or should I say sports card fans, let's get going. Welcome back in ERB sports fans and IndyCar fans out there everywhere. Yes, ERB sports put his money where his mouth is. He loves IndyCar racing. He loves to bet on IndyCar racing. And when I found out they were going to have IndyCar trading cards, I couldn't wait to get a few boxes. But I didn't just buy a few boxes. I bought an entire sealed case of retail hangers. Yes, I know I was going to avoid this and go to straight to hobby, but I figured why not? I saw a few people getting in on the action, and I figured oh, it looked like a lot of fun. So I splurged, and I got a case of hangers. If these are good, I'll buy another one and I'll leave it sealed and see what happens with popularity long term. Even though IndyCar is a very, very niche sport, not even on the same level as Formula One. But the price was right for these as well. I got these for a whopping $8 a hanger box. 25 cards per box. Seems like you're getting about uh, maybe three to four foil cards per box. You get one pack per box. Kind of interesting, a little different. The question I have to ask you, yeah, I like the way the packaging is. Nice little box there, a little thin, but I wonder where they'll have these, and I really wonder how much was made, because so far from what I've seen opened on YouTube, which isn't much, looks like you get, like I said, a couple foil cards per box or pack or whatever. Um, you get a numbered card, yeah, maybe every 10 boxes you get some other interesting things but here you see like the foil cards in the middle this is like a stack of foil cards wow do we have a blue parallel maybe no uh, maybe not i don't know anyway we'll just leave up a few of our favorites uh we got indy 500 champion we got joseph newgarden there i bet on him last year to win the 500 he was one of my three picks and he did not disappoint Catherine Legg there. I guess that'd be a Catherine Legg rookie card, I think. Scotty D. Scott Dixon. Oh, that's a cool card. I like that. There's the, the Indy 500, um, what do they call those? The Indy 500 portraits when they had the qualifying. There's an Alex Pillow for Chip Ganassi Racing when he was in the 500. He was a pole sitter last year. Probably should have won the race, but he had a little bit of pit, in, pit incident. We got Santita Ferrucci. What do we got here? Ooh, Detroit. These are cool cards. Wow. That's a cool... I like the way these cards look. I really like... I wouldn't mind collecting the entire set of these track ones. I really like the way those look. I must leave it up. That is Detroit. I don't know that it shows up well on camera, but that that's just a cool-looking card. All right, we got Scotty Mack. As I was saying, Alex Pillow probably should have had a chance to win the 500, but... Sadly, he was taken out by a pit incident by, I believe it was, Renus VK. There we go. Got Alex Pillow on the foil. Colton Herta on the pit pass. We'll get to the last foil here. We got Christian Lungard. Ooh, that's a cool one. That is from Laguna Seca. He had, what was the moment there? That was a marquee moments was 23 years later. There is a new indie record. At, okay, so he set the pole fastest record. Maybe that was during practice, but I like the way these foil card look. Quality control looks pretty solid on these. I don't mind them. I guess he was the pole sitter last year, so an Alex Pillow foil is not too bad. I wondered in the case of hangers, if I opened... Here's my wife's favorite driver, Elio Castroneves. We're going to sleeve up the Castroneves because Castroneves is a four-time Indy 500 winner. I don't think that's a rookie card, but he's a four-time winner. And I wonder, do you get multiple driver? Yeah, you must. Okay, because we got Scotty Mack here and a Scotty Mack different card. All right, let's try to keep these in order. The foil cards will go in one stack, the car cards will go in another, and the drivers will go in another. And uh, we'll sleeve up along the way. We got Scotty Mack again, Ed Carpenter, Indy Native, Kyle Kirkwood on the Indy 500. Simon Pagano, what's ever going to happen to him? Is he ever going to come back after the injury at Mid-Ohio? Scary looking crash. Remind me of a Michael Andretti back in the day. Then we got another Kyle Kirkwood. This time it is a Streets of Long Beach. He won that race. Back-to-back -back jacks on the uh, Kyle Kirkwood there. wonder why we had to get two in a row. What's different about these two? 
Anything different about those? Oh, we got two of them. So nice, we got them twice. Then I guess these would be considered like the rookie cards because they're technically the NTT IndyCar series. We got Ed Carpenter. We got Callum Eilat. We got Benjamin Peterson. Is that backwards? No. Just looks like it would be a backwards card. We got the Indy Road Course, the top three there, of Alex Pillow, Pato Award, and his teammate Alexander Rossi. Another race I bet on Award and Rossi in that race, and I did not win. Because Pillow kept winning. <laughs> Alex Pillow, speaking of Pillow, there's him on the car card. Stingray Rob. Not too bad there. Renus VK, and last but not least, an Alex Pillow rookie card. I think this is the Alex Pillow rookie card, I believe. The question is, how many of these are we going to get? And are we going to get any autographs of Alex Pillow? Because so far, the sales on this product, from what I've seen, they're not bad. They're, they're not like crazy good. But they're not bad. So we've got six in this video. Like I said, I got 50 hanger boxes. So stay tuned for more content. If you're new here and you're into racing and you're into ripping product for racing, hit that subscribe button. It'd mean a lot to me. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. You know when I post videos. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't going to buy this product at first. But I figured after I saw a few of them open... I figured I'd just go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. I wonder how many autographs or numbered cards I'm going to get out of the case. We got a filler card here, Indy 500, presented by Gamebridge. My coworker, his his girlfriend works for um, the uh, Andretti Autosport. Got a lot of coworkers that are into racing. So if they're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Hit the bell icon. We got Jack Harvey. He's into cards. Ooh, we got one of these cool-looking inserts again. Ooh, man. I really like those. They're almost like a downtown in a way. I know they're not, but I believe that is a Joseph Newgard in Long Beach. I wouldn't mind, like I said, I wouldn't mind collecting the entire set of those. They look better in person than what I've seen on camera. They almost remind me of a mini downtown, but I know it's not. We might have a numbered card here. I think we do. This is the checkerboard. Who do we got here? What the heck is that? I don't know what that is, but we got the NTT IndyCar Series logo in a carbon fiber card. I thought when I saw carbon fiber cards before... I'm going to sleeve it up anyway because I think it's cool. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but when I saw carbon fiber cards before, I thought they were numbered. Got something here. We got a front row, closest front row in history. That was the front row separated by 0.1 seconds. That is a cool card. I like those inserts. I'd like to see more of that. We got Alexander Rossi, Kyle Kirkwood. I like the blur on those. Marco Andretti, he'll probably never win the 500. Graham Rahal was resurgent last year. Alexander Rossi, really disappointing for his new team. Speaking of Graham Rahal, got the Graham Rahal rookie card, I think. I don't know. Stingray Rob, that's definitely a rookie card for him. Benjamin Peterson, Santino Ferrucci, a fan favorite. Joe Newgarden, Joseph Newgarden. We got Jamie... Chadwick for Andretti Autosport. That's a cool Indy Next series. I'm getting a little out of sorts here, building stacks. We'll do a highlight video at the end. I don't think those are numbered. Again, I don't know why I sleeve that uh, carbon fiber card. I thought maybe it was numbered, but it's. N I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it is. We'll have to look. We'll look later on. Colton Herta on the card card car card. <laughs> Augustine Canopito, another card fa card collecting favorite. We've got Christian Lungard. Not his rookie. He was actually in, in uh, Formula One feeder series. So there's an orange for sale right now on the internet. Roman Grosjean. We'll sleeve it up, though. It's his IndyCar rookie card. And he won a race last year for the first time in his career. He won at Toronto. Who says I don't know a lot about IndyCar racing? 
I do. I know probably too much. Not as much as David Land. David Land knows a lot. I'd love to meet him in person. Seems like a cool guy. But probably hook that up sometime. I don't think he's discovered my channel yet. He's got like 90,000 subscribers. A little too big time for ERB Sports. We're at like 900, not even. Got another Alex Pillow card. That is cool. I don't know. I, so far, I would say good QC. I like the way the cards look. Another Catherine Leg. Second one, Renus VK. We're going to get some duplicates because this is a short checklist. Devlin G. Francesco now in sports car. Tony Kanan on the car card. Another long... Oh, he went back to back on the Long Beach. Uh, that, that, that's a little disappointing. I like these cards, but maybe I can sell one or grade one. I don't know. I like the way those Long Beach cards look. I did not think I'd get back to back packs the same one. I just wonder how much of that's going to happen. We doubled down on that. Did we get the Colton Herta before? I don't remember. I don't think so. Colton Herta. Not a rookie. It's an Indy 500 insert. Marcus Armstrong. He is another guy that was in a Formula One product. Simon Pagano on the pit pass. Foil card. And a uh, 217 passes for position at Worldwide Technology Raceway outside of St. Louis. I went to that race one time. We got another Elio Castro Nevis. I'll save it, sleeping it up till later. Uh, Pato Award, Renus VK, Augustine Canapino, another Joe Newgarden, this time in his shell colors. Pato Award, we'll sleep up to Pato. That is probably a Pato rookie. He's a guy that could, and I mean could, be a star. He could definitely be a superstar in the series. That might have been a black parallel, maybe. I don't know. The other one's gray here. Takuma Sato, former Indy 500 champion. Elio Castroneves on the car card. Pato Award on the... Oh, we got... There we go. We did get an auto. We got James Rowe. I don't know too much about James Rowe. Indy Next Series auto, not numbered. So we we're a couple boxes in and we already got an auto. But it's not a driver. And it's not numbered. It's James Rowe. But hey, he could be a future Indy 500 winner. And where did my stack go? <laughs> did I look at these already? Yeah, I did. Where did I put the stack? I think I screwed up. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. Felix Rosenquist on a new team this year. Stingray Rob again. Colton Herta with some schmutz there. And Catherine Legg. That would technically be her rookie, maybe. But she only participated in the 500 last year. It's a cool Colton Herta card. This looks like an image variation. They're going to have to learn. Parkside's going to have to learn how to do better photography. Um on this product the you know the borders being white good for grading um if you're going to grade this card these cards i don't know that you will but if you were good for grading but overall um another indie car logo card why did i sleeve up the first one it was nothing special <laughs> i got a second one there moon guard powder award again Joe Newgarden when he was at Texas, I believe. Jack Harvey. We got Iowa for the first time. That's cool. I like, I really like these cards. These are so cool. Um, I'm not going to sleeve it up like with the hard sleeve or whatever. We'll save that. This is going to be a 30 minute video if I. Marcus Erickson on the car card. Alexander Rossi on the car card. We've got Tom Bloomquist. He filled in for My Meyer Shank when um, Simon was injured last year. What do we got here? The uh, the tightest Firestone Fast Six. This was probably at Toronto, I think, maybe. Uh, was it at Toronto? I can't remember. I'm blanking. We got Roman Grosjean, another Kyle Kirkwood, another Scotty Mack, another Kyle Kirkwood. Different one, though. 
Tony Kanan, another Kyle Kirkwood, the third time we've gotten that card. A Joe Newgarden, Ryan Hunter Ray. Put those down there. Callum Eilat, Ryan Hunter Ray again. Ooh, that's a, that's a cool one. That these are the hard ones to pull, the iconic images, and we got the Borg Warner Trophy. These are the hard ones. I've not seen many of these come out. The only other one of these that I saw come out was a Scott Dixon image from Long Beach. So we've got the Indy 500 Borg Warner Trophy moment. That's a cool one. I really like those. And I'm going to have to check these for numbered cards, see if I didn't miss anything. Alex Pillow again. Graham Rahal again. And R.C. Anderson. I don't think he's racing this year. He's probably racing somewhere, but not, not in IndyCar. Or maybe he'll run the 500. I think he ran the 500 last year. But, all right. We got a lot of hanger boxes to go. This is hanger box number five. I got 50 of these. <laughs> I got a lot of these to go. I got a lot coming. I didn't want to open them all at once because I thought that would be way too long of a video. IndyCar series again. Stingray Rob. Alex Pillow, Christian Lungar, Tony Kanan, another Iowa card. Back-to-back -back boxes with the Iowa card. That's so weird. The collation on these is kind of weird. It seems like every box you're going to get one of these track ones with, like, the artist images, and then you're going to get an iconic images. Those are a little harder to hit. Uh, Pillow, Lungar, when he shaved his mustache. That's a cool one. On-track passes, 1,502 at Iowa. Alexander Rossi, Colton Herta, Scotty Mack, Joe Newgarden. Let's put these. There we go. Stingray. We got Arenas VK. Stingray again. Uh, Hunter Ray again. Peterson, Malukas. Ooh, there we go. Back to back jacks on the iconic images. This, I think these are going to be highly collectible out of this set. I really feel like if there was a card that's highly collectible, it's going to be the almost like the short prints. I don't know how many of these they made, but those are cool looking cards. That's with the uh, the, the grid. Uh, Colton Herta, Alex Pillow, Scotty Mac or Scotty D, and another Alex Pillow rookie card. Second one we've got. We'll sleeve it up. He had a really good season last year. He's the whole reason why I didn't win more in my betting. Not that I'm bitter, but he is the whole reason why I didn't win more. Because I could never get him right. I constantly was riding the second place and the third place and the fifth place guys. And I would, I would strike out over and over again on the... Um, on the Alex Pillow victories. We may have a numbered card there. We might. I hope. So it's a carbon fiber looking card. Get these indie car ones. You get a lot of those. Stingray Rob. There's another Alex Pillow. Marcus Erickson. Ed Carpenter. We got Iowa for the third time? What the heck? They need to have a little bit more variance in these cards. But we're down to our last box. I'm going to have plenty of doubles, so I'll sell the doubles. I, I Like I said, I'm going to open up enough of this product where I'm probably going to have the entire complete set. But David Malukas, Felix Rosenquist, Pit Pass of Takuma Sato, Taku. We got the front row card again. We've got that one before. <laughs> Rossi, I think that's numbered. Unless it's the Indy... Yeah, I think that's numbered. Colton Herta, Scotty Mack. You get a lot of doubles. Renus VK, Simon Pagino, another Renus VK. Devlin Jean Francesco now in sports cars. Joe Newgarden. I guess that'd be his rookie. If we get a Joe Newgarden um, rookie card number, that'd be awesome. Not my favorite driver. Many ask who my favorite driver is. I don't really know. I don't really have a favorite favorite. I've always just kind of followed the series. Callum Eilat, Benjamin Peterson. We got Chip Ganassi racing. Be Alex Pillow. 
Sato. Dude, what is that? Oh, that's out of 99. Oh, okay. Okay, I see it in the corner. That's cool. They don't number the cards. <laughs> it's a little weird. That is the Takuma Sato out of 99. That's the first one I've seen of those pulled. All right. We got Felix Rosenquist, Alex Polo again, Christian Lungard again, and last but not least, Alex Polo for the third time. So if you're gonna get, if you're gonna load up on base rookies, you'll get a lot of Alex Pelos, a lot of Joe Newgardens, a lot of, you'll get a lot of guys. So there is a six box sample size. Hope you enjoyed that one. Let's do a real quick recap. We won't recap everything. I don't think that's numbered. Why is that a black border? Anyway, I'm going to have a mess to clean up here. You get a lot of these Indy 500 portrait cards. You get a lot of those. You get a lot of car cards. They're going to be split between regular cards and the 500. I got a foil card mixed in there. You're going to get a couple of these filler cards. These are cool. They will kind of make for good uh, filler things when you're trying to hide a hit. Uh, you get a lot of the... Uh, Foil inserts, you get like four or five per box, depending on the box. Uh, these are cool. They make it a little bit different. You get a lot of base rookies or base cards. I don't know if all these are rookies, but I'll look it up later. Um, you get some of these cards, which I think commemorate certain races. I got a couple of Alex Pelos. These were from Portland. I think he won, won that race. We got Kyle Kirkwood, we got Joe Newgarden when he won the 500, Alex Pillow when he won Road America. I was at that race. I remember that. I saw that victory pass. We got Joe Newgarden when he won at Texas. We got the Indy Road Course. These are a little harder to hit. The top three card, I don't think I've seen too many of those. We managed to get three Kyle Kirkwoods when he was at Long Beach. couple more inserts here. I know this is a long video. You get... Uh, I'm just put those down you get like one of these per box you get a different one every time they're okay uh, and then some of the hits we'll go over some of the hits so the base rookies get a decent number of base rookies that i was sleeving up um we like hit the trifecta on the alex below all right so base rookies we got award loon guard new garden and a bunch of below we've got a bunch of I'd say the cards here are probably the harder ones to hit. All right, we'll do it that way. Well, I'm not going to review the LEO. That's from my wife. Uh, you get some of these cool car or these uh, track cards. I really like these. Detroit, three Iowas, two Long Beaches, and six boxes. So you might get the full set if you open up a whole case. Alex Pillow on the foil. I don't think that's a true rookie card. I really like these iconic images. These are going to be harder to hit. We've got the 500 here with the starting grid and the Borg Warner Trophy. This is going to be a cool set to put together. We'll see if I get the entire set out of the case. I don't really know, but I really like those images. We got Takuma Sato on the NTT IndyCar series. I don't know if this would qualify as a rookie or not. That's out of 99. And we got a James Rowe autograph from Andretti Autosport in the Indy Next series for the autograph in the first six boxes. So in the first six boxes, two hits, so to speak. And if you count these as hits, four hits in six boxes, not too bad. Let me know what you guys think. This product's not for everybody, but I wanted to have some fun. We got plenty more of these videos coming. Stay tuned for more content, and I will see you in the next video.